The popular and controversial dancehall artist Vibes Cartel, whose given name is Adeja Palmer, remains in police custody this evening. He was arrested before daybreak this morning after police raided a New Kingston hotel and allegedly found a quantity of ganja. But in a move that could indicate that the police have other charges in mind, officers spent much of the day searching premises linked to the entertainer. Kirk Wright was in tow as investigators went from one location to another. Investigators were kept busy all afternoon as they swooped down on several premises reportedly frequented by Vibes Cartel. The police team comprising the Caribbean Search Center and the Flying Squad first went to the upscale St. Angel neighborhood of Norbrook. Armed with various tools, the officers went straight to work. Here, a team member carefully searches a knapsack allegedly found inside the DJ's home. After more than an hour, the team emerged with several bags containing various items. The DJ also emerged in handcuffs to be taken to another premises linked to him. Now, after that detailed search of the entertainer's house in Norbrook, the police moved on to another location here in Havendale. At this time, it was a premises on Swallowfield Avenue in Havendale, St. Andrew, which persons in the area confirmed had been damaged by fire about two weeks ago. At each location, the police brought the DJ inside the premises before conducting a search. The police spent about half an hour at the Haven Day location before removing a scorched computer hard drive and what appeared to be a computer. The team then went to Portmore in St. Catherine, Independent City to be exact, where they spent some time searching another premises. Many persons, including his girlfriend, Shorty, converged at the location. As the DJ emerged from the premises, persons jeered the police, saying cartel should be freed. He was quickly whisked away by the police to an undisclosed location. Before his journey across the corporate area and St. Catherine, the popular artist had spent the morning here at the Kingston Central Police Station. The DJ was brought here after being nabbed during a raid at the New Kingston Hotel about 4 o'clock this morning. Two other associates, including a woman, were held. A quantity of ganja was allegedly found in the room they occupied. But the DJ's attorney at law, Christian Tavares Finson, told TVJ News Center that the ganja found in the entertainer's room cannot be linked to the artist as there were other persons who had access. It appears, however, that the police may have something bigger than ganja charges on their minds. Assistant Commissioner of Police Elon Powell confirmed that the DJ's detention is part of a wider investigation but would provide no more information. But our sources say murder charges could be laid against persons close to the controversial entertainer. The DJ's attorneys says they will be waiting for the police to indicate the way forward. Kirkwright, TVJ News.